and I am back. I apologize for that, guys. That, uh, let me pause the video real quick, turned into a, this is the end of the video. When I was taking the trash out, had, a I got caught by a neighbor, had a little conversation, you know, it was nice and pleasant. Came back in, and, uh, my laptop decided, fuck you, I'm going to bed. And my laptop went to sleep. And, uh, actually, to be honest, thankfully, Bandicam, while Bandicam did stop recording the video, it ended the recording. It, it, it had some kind of error. It didn't actually delete it. I, uh, I, that video that was cut off, I should be able to upload it. And, hey, at least I still saved what, uh, portion of that video. I don't know, it was like, what? four minutes i was four minutes in or, or something and then i went to take trash out spoke to my neighbor and well i had to make another video to pick up where i left off i did take the time to find the exact post i was looking for and before i get back to the concern for the community i i just want to point this out you know i brought this up earlier gravedigger has since responded down here below Sal. Well, it responded to Sal. Almost every popular YouTube channel that makes Subnautica videos are targeted at little kids. A lot of, uh, a lot of very popular YouTube channels target kids. You know, that's why they're so popular. But yeah. a large portion of players are kids on the PS4, and those kids drive more sales than adults. The devs aren't dumb and are going to develop a more child-friendly game so the little kids can be happy. I mean, maybe this is just me and my jaded years, but fuck little kids. Little kids can be fucking happy that they got a house over their head and electricity. First world problems gotta make little kids happy. It's like, oh boy. Man, I remember... When I was a little kid, I was happy if I got a fucking game. If that game sucked, it was a step up from looking at the static on my TV. I had a TV in my room, but I didn't have cable on. You know, you want to watch cable TV? You better go up in the living room and fight with one of your family members for it. I had a throwaway TV in my room, but man, the second I got me a, a Nintendo... Because the first console I played was Atari, but Nintendo Entertainment System was the first system that, hey, well, can, I pl can I play the Atari? He's like, no, no, fuck that. The Nintendo was mine. You had to ask me to play the Nintendo. W once you got a game, all of a sudden, that 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 uh, black and white staticky, st staticky screen, it turned into something magical. So, yeah, I, I was glad to have anything. But kids nowadays is like, oh, man, you got, you know, that's what you get, though. You raise a generation of kids on, on, on cell phones that have instant, immediate Internet access. You raise a group of human beings on tablets to where they learn how to swipe and interact with the tablet and make the pretty uh, sounds and lights appear before they even learn how to, like, close their fish. You know, they, they can't make a fist they can't turn a doorknob they don't know how to flip a page like like it, it it was funny at first it sounds even funnier than it is but it's actually sad there's a video and there's more than one but there's this one video in particular of, of, of a lady that thought it was cute and funny made this video and showed people and we're kind of like that sad but she's got i don't know at the time of the recording i think it was like a toddler and, you know, her, her, her daughter could, could speak, you know, could tell you what she wanted and stuff, but her, her, her daughter couldn't turn the pages on a book and, and she was recording this and showing it and she was snickering. Basically, he's like, haha, my kid doesn't even know how to turn a book, turn the pages on a book. Isn't that cute? I'll make a video of it. Meanwhile, everyone's like, you haven't taught your child how to turn the page on a book? Why are you making fun of your kid? That's retarded. But yeah, how do you like that tangent? That example you gave doesn't really mean much to kids who don't know what they're looking at. Buddy, I got news for you. Kids on the internet, 
They know what a pussy is. I'm sorry. You know what? Th th there, there's 10 and 11 year old kids that are fucking me. Like, like I, I didn't get into adult stuff, you know, around until I was around 18 and stuff. You, you know, I was kind of a kid when I was a kid and I was a teenager when I was a teenager. No, you've got pre teenagers nowadays straight fucking bawling, nutting in each other, fucking, having babies, doing, you, you got people, fucking kids getting high and shit, it's, it's like, no, sorry, the internet, you're on the internet, you know what a pussy is, Sal, I, I can't, I appreciate your point, but I can't agree with it, and I had to show this up, because you, Gravedigger, had a decent thing to say, YouTubers are forced to be targeting for kids, as that's the only way they can get ad revenue. I said that. Using YouTubers as an example is pretty bad because of how fucked up YouTube system is, forcing YouTubers to be 100% clean. Yeah. That's, um... That is accurate. I really do not like the Gravedigger, but geez, if I can point out when it, you know, just like with Old Wolf, if I can point out when these terrible people say decent things, then I can kind of, I can kind of get a range of the extremes, like the extreme in one end and, the, and then I, the extreme in the other end. So it's like, look, the Gravedigger is capable of talking to people concerning the video game speaking uh making comparisons to non-game related things as long as it still pertains to the topic as it relates to the game you know we're not going off on a tangent no one's attacking anyone you know over what's being said it's like hey this is how you internet and this has some recent replies down here at the bottom Talking about mods, and uh, I recover. I reviewed Old Wolf's uh, post up there earlier. Zilled, I was able to mod. Blah blah blah. But but check out what what Grave Digger says there at the bottom. That is very very useful. From I'm not. A, I mean I don't play with mods myself, but I've seen so many people ask about this. This is a very useful uh, answer to a very popular question many people ask. So, boom, let me just highlight that and put uh, Gravedigger a little bit on blast and get his voice out there. Oh, yeah, I'm a weirdo. Uh, oh, 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 pardon me. If you act fucked up, I will treat you fucked up. But, I mean, you act straight, then I'll be straight with you. I'm not completely insane. I'm a little bit insane. I'm a little retarded. But, I mean, I'm not going to just sit here and harass and hound and dog you and you're just an innocent person. Nah. Now, Weaver's post, this incredible hot take, there were a couple posts after this, but they were all deleted. At one, the last time I covered this particular topic, which is up here, scroll bar, concern for the community. Last time I was here, there was... Maybe like 90-something comments. Maybe there was about six more. They all got deleted. They were controversial things being said. Oh, my goodness. Zeph Nolly, give a pause and a read. Zeph Nolly doesn't really have anything of substance to add to this argument. He's repeating semantics that he's been through before. Steve people develop a little bit of a, a little bit of a sense of humor dr dro please refer to this post talking about zeph nolly not knowing what's so woke and then he quotes catalytic in this old wolf topic about dr who you remember this i made a whole video series three-part video series about catalytic's last stand his last stand is still fucking standing, and we see you, Catalytic. You stand tall, bro. But yeah, there's his response. Please refer to this post. This is the last we'll speak of this. You got to be kidding me. The point is, this doesn't belong in the game. Blah blah blah. Eh. Next video.